Hey everybody, welcome back to another Mummified Games. My name is Tony. Today we're going to be talking about the game Switch and Shoot. It's a uh, mobile Android game. I am cursing it through, through Dex, Samsung Dex into my computer because I wanted to make sure I was capturing a full Android experience. Um, and I, I thought that it was going to be in a portrait mode. So uh, unfortunately, this is what we're at right now. So um, hope you all can uh, uh, move past the or see what's going on. I, I don't know how to fix it, but... Wow, what a change of platform and a change of input can make on a game. This is Mummified Games back again for today's video game review. I'm Tony and today we're gonna to be looking at the classic retro style shoot em up game, Switch and Shoot. I originally played this game and some other Android based games from this bundle on my phone, just like Love and another game that we'll talk about in the future, Line. This game is available on Windows, Linux, and Android. I played this on my phone, trying to see if there were some new games that I could use as time killers. For those times when I'm on break at work, or public transport, or on a long trip, stuck in the airport, or really any time I need to kill when I'm away from my desktop. The premise of this shoot 'em up game is that your ship is always moving in one direction from either left or right. Then you either tap the screen or hit a button and your ship will shoot its blaster up towards the top of the screen and also will reverse its direction either left or right. Unlike other shoot up games where you might have a control controller over the movement of your ship, you are limited to only switching directions, and your blasts are tied to those changes in direction as well, making a challenging form of gameplay. I started playing this game on my phone thinking, this sucks. There were so many things that you lose from this being on mobile. The fact that your hands cover up a noticeable part of the screen. I played this on a Samsung S10 Plus, and that has a resolution of 3040 by 1440 a 19 by nine resolution instead of the standard 16 by nine resolution you would find in a 1080p display. The video right now is in a nine by 16 format at 1080 by 1920. But if the video was instead at nine by 19, it would be a little bit extra on the top and bottom at 1080 by 2280. The standard resolution of a 16 by nine display at 1440p would be 1440 by 2560. My phone, as I said was 1440 by 3040 so this is what the resolution of the screen would look like in comparison to that resolution. Obviously you would flip those numbers if this was instead in standard landscape mode and not portrait. Anyway I hope you all love that thrilling discussion of resolutions and what numbers mean. I, I needed to explain that just in case someone didn't know what I was talking about. What I was saying is that even though I had more room there was still a lot of area that my thumbs would naturally cover up being actually human thumbs. Thumbs. Then there's the input delay from having to move your thumbs from hovering over the screen to then making contact with the screen. This has much more delay compared to how short of a travel time your finger would have to go from resting on a button to then pressing it. After giving this game a good couple extended bathroom breaks, I was ready to make a short video about how this game isn't great and not worth your time. But then I needed to actually record the video on my computer. I should learn how to record my screen on my phone, but I just haven't looked into it yet. And it was a good thing that I haven't looked into recording on my phone because the time I played on the computer opened my eyes to how much better this game is on an actual PC. The game is much more responsive. Being able to actually have a quicker reaction time made the game 100 times better. You can actually time your shots better and now get a better feel of how fast your ship is going. You can aim better now. When playing on my phone, I never made it further than maybe the fourth or third power up and crashed a ton. But on the PC, I was able to make it all the way to the fourth power up on the second realm. Unless you have a real controller for your phone or you have one of those gaming phones that have special triggers or extra buttons on the outside, then sure, you can play this on your phone. But there is no way I would leave it up to just touch controls. The game is without a doubt better with a mouse or keyboard and it's even better with a controller. I plugged my 360 controller in and all I had to do was hit A for everything and my timing was so much better. 
here. So that being said, the game is actually playable. What else is there to know about this game? Well, the game after that discovery is fairly bog standard. It has a great idea going about the whole switch and shoot thing, but sadly, there are no upgrades that can be made outside the game. There's only unlocks that are available in the list of different color options. Every so often, there would be another color profile that you could unlock, and with it were another 10 color palette. I wish the game had a random palette option that every time you died, it would pick another one or cycle through the options one after the next. That would be a lot more fun than having to go back to the menu and change the color anytime you wanted to try something different. The game also doesn't let you put in your own name, and instead, it gives each life a random name. That's fine. It would be annoying if you had to input your name at the end of every high score, even though it takes away the possibility of having your own name on the scoreboard. Outside of the mechanics and warning not to play this on your phone without extra help, it's an okay game. If you happen to have it from a bundle, then sure, go check it out. For folks who did play this game, what were your thoughts? What was your high score? Post an image or link in the comments. For those of you who haven't played this game, are there any other shoot 'em up games in this racial justice bundle that you think I should check out? Or if there's another game out there that you really want me to play, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, Again, the internet is out, so I'm gonna to have to head back to the library to upload this one. Make sure you all support your local library. They really do provide great community services to your community, more than just books and internet. They really don't receive enough praise for what they do. You all do the YouTube dance. Like, sub, bell, share, and let me know what you think. And as always, friends, keep digging. We'll make it out sometime. See you in the next one.